Good morning. 5G communication is 20 times faster than 4G. Downloads are lightning fast with 5G compared to 4, up to 20 gigabytes per second, which allows for applications on an industrial scale. 5G also drives signal latency down to the millisecond level, which allows for things like remote surgeries and robot controlled factories. It's so many times faster than it takes for an instruction to go from the human brain to the human fingers. So the adoption of 5G is an economic imperative to be competitive in this century, and the race has already begun. Let's start with the problem that we got in North America and in Western Europe and why we're already in trouble. These data come from a Deloitte report, and this shows up on page eight. The users of super fast communications networks, we get fantastic benefits when the cost of mobile data falls. But that means that companies that install the communications are making less money, and it's difficult for them to recover the big investments they need to make to go from 4G to 5G. Even though the faster and cheaper communications benefits other industries and the entire country, the companies that need to buy equipment and install it, they don't benefit. That's a feature of the telecommunications industries across North America and most of Europe. The report by Deloitte makes for some sobering reading because it's clear that we're already far behind and unlikely to catch up. And this is gonna have profound consequences for us, for Americans. 5G enables billions of devices to be used in a small area, which will lead to innovations that we cannot even now imagine. This is because of the network effect. Network effect means that the value of a particular property or asset goes up as the number of users goes up. Facebook and Twitter X are obvious examples, but 5G is another, along with everything that uses 5G. The network will grow exponentially as devices are added, anything that is in the reach of a wireless signal. That allows for collaborations that aren't obvious now, but will become obvious later. The Economist calls it a new economic engine. More data attracts more users who generate more data, which means more services, which attract more users. And the countries that get there first are gonna see outsized gains compared to anyone else. China is realizing those outsized gains right now, and they're doing it because they have solved the problem that we've got. Remember, our telecommunications companies are not financially incentivized to invest billions and billions of dollars worth of equipment that drive down the cost of data transmission. But in China, their companies are so incentivized, and it starts with Huawei. Huawei owns a lot of the 5G patents. Huawei is vertically integrated and owns much of the tech and the IP for 5G. Huawei builds the hardware for the 5G networks, and Huawei makes the smartphones and the laptops, the computers that use 5G that they're making the hardware for. They also make chips that are used in thousands of other products sold to Chinese manufacturing companies for electronics, toys, household items, cars. Huawei builds the whole system, every element of it from antennas to power stations. What does that mean in practical application? A Huawei phone is made with 28 seconds of human labor. Huawei has a staff of 17 people to manage 30 production lines that make 2 million smartphones every month. So 67,000 smartphones per day, Huawei has 17 people. That's what a smart factory is. That's still not the whole picture quite because Huawei is not in the cell phone tower business. That falls to China Tower, this company here, who is adding 500 new stations every day, have installed over 2 million and counting, which is 10 times what we have in the United States. Sites per 10 square miles, that's 13 times the density we've got. Sites per 10,000 people is three times, but adjusting for China's population at four times the US, it's 12, 13 times again. The last sentence here in Deloitte's analysis sums up the relative positions. China and the other countries are creating a 5G tsunami. Impossible to catch up. China's five-year plan calls for $400 billion in new 5G investment, 
They've already spent $24 billion more than us to get it going. And it gets worse. $400 billion goes a lot farther in China than it does in the U.S., where everything just costs a lot more. Equipment in China costs a third less than in the United States. Engineering and permitting in the U.S. costs five or six times more. So overall, U.S. costs are 2.7 times China's. So if we're going to match our spending with their $400 billion, it means capital outlays on our side of over a trillion dollars. Deloitte's report concludes with this section. It's a battle plan for how the United States can catch up and challenge China and Japan and Singapore and Germany and some of the others who are already way ahead of us. Americans who will read this report already know that it's a fantasy. We don't have the money. We don't have the political will. We would need Huawei to make the equipment for major 5G rollouts anyway, and American companies aren't allowed to buy from Huawei to even comprehend the stakes that are involved here, and then to formulate a strategy to overcome the technological and regulatory and financial challenges that we face. All that requires visionary and strong leadership in Washington. And literally nobody, nobody on the planet should have any illusions that we have that. Not anymore. Not after what the whole world saw this week. This is Julong Waterfalls in Winam Province. Be good.